following benefits. So it manufactures modules, panels in the factory, so offsite construction, um, so-called, which can improve the productivity. And it has 15% less waste as compared to the conventional construction approach. And it's not affected by weather condition. Lastly, it, it has less impact to surroundings of a construction site. So even though the modular construction has such advantages, there is still bottleneck to maximize productivity. For example, according to the case study from the University of Tennessee on the modular construction company, delay is caused by transportation of materials and also delay itself during transitioning to the next step of the, the assembly process. These delay take, take average 40% of the time uh, spent on each task. So it's really large. So given this problem, um, we think AI can guide workers by understanding the current circumstances. Um, so we expect that AI model can tell workers the progress of current module assembly process and guide the next step of module fabrication. So like, like tell workers what's the next material or next work pieces that you need. Um, however, collecting tra training data set for AI training from the real factory environment is extremely expensive. So for example, if you want to set up the sensors, you stop, you, you got to stop the factory operation and it costs a lot. So the data generation, uh, we think the jet data generation in VR settings can provide the training data in quick and agile way. So in this study, we validate the framework leveraging the image-based uh, deep learning model training trained on synthetic data. The research will be carried out in three major phases. So in the first phase, we constructed 3D modular construction factory from real world captured point clouds. And we developed uh, the framework to capture image data. So we we developed the code to apply virtual cameras and capture the data. Um, in the second phase, we experiment the performance of deep learning model with generated data in VR settings. Um, the module assembly simulation image data set Im uh, simulation image data set is generated, and those are used for AI training for the testing purposes. Finally, in the third phase, we will it, it's future plan. So we will collect the real world data, including more complicated environment from industry partners factory. And lastly, we will test the, the applicability of VR based uh, this learning system in modular construction manufacturing facility context. So this proposed presentation is aiming the phase two evaluation of data set. This is the overview of the proposed research. Um, we obtain a sample 3D model of a volumetric module from an online source to simulate the assembly progress. And the 3D model is imported into VR. Given the con configured virtual camera settings, as I uh, explained, um, image data sets were captured. Collected the image data set was separated into train and test data set. And then the deep learning model was trained. The result shows the performance of model, model utilizing synthetic data in VR settings. This is how it looks like. We captured point clouds from real in visiting by visiting the real factory environment in Brooklyn, New York, and we developed it in previous research. So more details are in this study, which was submitted uh, accepted uh, by CRC conference. So within the VR environment, we imported 3D model volumetric module, and we assumed the assembly process in 14 steps. So once 3D model is imported, 12 virtual cameras were attached to the module, and then 12 images were captured at once for capturing geometric information in the image format. And also to reflect variances to images for the training purposes, the, lo the location of modules were randomized within the assembly area. So this is the point cloud data from the real world factory environment. And these are 
assembly area really in, in that factory. So we randomize the location of modules to change the background to, for giving a variances to the data set. So it, it's working in this order. Um, locate 3D model within the assembly area and then capture 12 images from virtual cameras and then um, remove the, the module to, and then it's iterating. So eventually, um, we obtained 84,000 images, which is 500 inputs for a step. So to build a classifier for the module assembly progress, we utilize pre-trained multi-view convolution neural network, in short, MVCNN. MVCNN is a supervised deep learning model to recognize objects based on images and it requires 12 images and one label as a single input. This is the architecture of MVCNN consisting of multiple convolution network to classify one, um, um, given images. So it requires 12 images. So the, this figure is an example of single input. So it consists of 12 images from 12 fixed angles for the cameras and labeled as step one. And it represents of only uh, only a frame. So the first step of of module fabrication. This is the result of train model. So performance of train model. So y axis is the actual step, and x axis is uh, is predicted steps. So hence blue cell means the correct answer from machine learning model. So eventually the model shows performance of 0 0.97 in accuracy, precision, we call an F1 score. So this is a conclusion. Um, given the test data set, uh, the model shows um, comparably accurate result, testing accuracy, precision, we call an F1 score. Also, we think it provides a clear point of departure for utilization of synthetic data, which is um, generated in VR settings. And also, this is an essential step towards robotic assistance because we have to build the brain first and then we can imp embed it into the uh, physical robot. So, uh, but at the same time, we have uh, this kind of limitations. Um, first, firstly, we need to very verify it works in the real world setting. So we will conduct the, that research in phase three. three. But also we have to um, verify the it works in the complicated module fabrication process, and also um, if the workspace, the the factory environment is not cleaned, we gotta verify it, if it's working in such such more harder conditions. Um, thank you for your attention and if you have any question you can ask me or you can email me and this is my, our contact thanks so much thank you uh, Kendo, for the presentation um yeah uh, i'm asking for the from the audience if there is any questions please feel free to type in your questions into the chat box or the q a